Yo guys, before we get into this week's software, I want to share a quick story with you. So the other day, I was relaxing eating a snack when all of a sudden, a Ferrari showed up out of nowhere. Whoa. Now, I'm a huge fan of sports cars, especially the Italian sports cars like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Pagani, Maserati, probably mostly because they have very exotic names that I rarely hear in my day to day. But something dawned on me. I've never actually met someone with the last name Ferrari. The closest I've came is my friend Zach Ferraro, which probably makes sense because he's Italian and I don't live in Italy. But outside of the Italian names like Lamborghini, Pagani, Linguini, I've never even met famous last names from US history like Stanley Kubrick or Andy Warhol or hell, even my own last name Ash outside of my family of course. Which then put me into an extremely curious frenzy with so many questions. How did did last names even begin? How do last names evolve? What is the fate of last names? Will my last name survive? Well, that is the exact adventure for this week's software. Now, to be clear, we are not going to create software that gives us all these answers. That is just too much to tackle in such a short amount of time. So I've decided to team up with Mr. Beat to try and get some help to answer all these questions. Alright, Mr. Beat, first of all, thank you for collaborating with me on this project. So I want to create a... <clears throat> hyper-realistic last name simulator to try and get some answers about last names. But obviously, I can't answer everything by myself. Do you mind giving me a helping hand with this project? Jabril, last names, huh? Well, of course. I've actually been wanting to make a video about last names for a while now. I'll look at the social sciences side of why there are so many of the same last names. How's that sound? That is perfect. While you work on that, I'll continue with this software. Sounds good to me. Cool. See you then, man. Now, listen, I have no idea what to expect from this simulator, but I'll take all the answers that we can get from this simulation. But what I really want to know is, after centuries of converging, will there only be like a handful of last names left? Will we all eventually have the same last name of Smith? Oh dear. Please. Please no. Regardless, I am very excited to run this simulation. But first, of course, we need to write it. And we're gonna write it like so. I think the hands down most important variables for simulating this is focusing on the different ways that last names can be created or go extinct. And I also think it's very important to use as much real world data as possible to simulate this. So. What are those ways? Well, based off a quick Google search, some of the most popular ways I found are random inspiration, for example, someone who changed an ethnic last name to better fit in with society, marriage or divorce, in which a person can adopt their mate's last name, or reclaim their old last name, or change it completely, death without an offspring, that's pretty straight to the point, and hyphenated slash merged last names. Like for example, Anne Wojcicki and Sergey Brin's children's last names are Wojin, which is a merge of both Wojcicki and Brin. So in this case, neither last names are surviving from a paperwork point of view. Which, hold on, quick banter time. I find this case actually extremely interesting. Say their kids grow up and marry a Johnson. Do their kids then hold that tradition and merge into a Wojinson? And let's say the Wojinson kids marry a Smith. Is the family last name now Wojinsmith? <laughs> I digress. Shouts out to Ancestry.com though. Your jobs are about to become a lot much harder. <laughs> Anywho, and that's it. Those are the focal points for our simulation. We will generate a population of citizens, let them live their lives, ultimately trying to find a mate, and these four cases are how they're going to add and remove last names from the simulation. Simple and to the point. Commence the coding. All right, and here is our simulator. On initialization, we generate our nationwide population based on an actual 2017 US census. And I've documented the top 5,000 most common last names in the US to use as our pool of last names. We then take 1% of the population and use that variable to sample from the pool of last names. And every citizen randomly gets assigned one of these last names. Every time step in our simulation is one year. So every year, a citizen gets to do one of four actions. Propose to a mate, which is not always successful, move to a different state, which their entire family will move with them if they have one, have a child, which is impossible if they don't have a mate or if they already have too many children, or the last action, do absolutely nothing. And again, a lot of these probabilities are based on real world data. Like this article that reports a quarter of women turned down proposals, and this article that reports the US citizen are expected to move 11 times in their life. Now let's run this filthy sim. And 
All right, uh, let's see here. Comparing the start of the sim to the end of the sim, what can we learn? Well, it appears that our pool of last names will not shrink down to like only a handful of last names. We started with 131 last names at the start of our simulation and ended with 834 last names, which is more than 700 than we started with. But how many of those are new? How many last names did we lose? And probably most interesting, how many of those last names remained? Well, if we lazily use some version control software, we can visualize this exact information. It appears that we have nothing to worry about as far as a variety of last names are concerned. New last names will continue to appear, which means, no, we won't all eventually have the same last name as Smith. Oh, thank candy. But over time, some last names will go extinct and other last names will survive. I ran the simulation three times and it appears that after about 4,000 years of convergence, 2% of last names on average seem to survive, while 70 to 80% will be completely new last names one way or another, as new last names will be created for various reasons. I guess in that case, the question becomes how important are last names and what are their true role in the future? Ah, I'm probably making this whole thing a bit more serious than it needs to to be. But lastly, guys, I have a slight confession. This is way too simplistic of a simulation to try and draw real world conclusions from. The truth is, I underestimated the amount of time that I would have needed to invest into for this kind of simulation. The simulation needs so much more variation. But more importantly, I think such a simulation needs GPU enabled algorithms so that we can simulate accurate population numbers. But unfortunately, due to an incredible time crunch, that's the best conclusion that we'll be able to draw today. However, don't forget, it's not over yet. Mr. B, can we get an update on your video? I actually just finished literally a second ago. I'm all done and ready whenever you are. Perfect. Head on over to Mr. B's channel to learn more about the origins of last names, the evolution of last names, and much more. It's really interesting stuff. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this week's episode. Now, I don't know about you, but the evolution of last names is really interesting to me. Which is why I demand that you go watch Mr. Beat's episode on it. Links to that will be in the description. And as for this project, I've open sourced this project and put it on my GitHub for if any of you guys want to tinker with it for whatever reason. Links to that as well will be in the description. Lastly guys, please do me a huge favor. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to be notified of when I upload new videos. Come follow me on Twitter and Instagram for like exclusive software updates and whatnot. And leave a like on this video. Doing all this stuff helps out a lot more than you probably know. But other than that, I hope to see you all next week. But whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity.